We've talked about the Document Inspector in previous training videos, but here I think we need to nail it in case if you haven't come across those training videos. The Document Inspector will find personal or hidden information that you may want removed before you hand this over to somebody else. For example, if I come up here and click on the File tab, we talked about going to the Info tab and seeing the properties. When I hand this over to somebody else, I don't want my contact information there, the company name, the website, because when they get it and they hand it off to somebody else, guess who they might contact if they have issues? Well, my name's all over this here, so I want to remove it. Also, maybe there's other things you want to remove. If you want to find out what you can remove, some things that might be personable before you send this off to somebody, come up here to the File tab. Again, we're in the Info group, and then click on the Check Issues button and go to Inspect Document. And you can check the document for, well, all the boxes that you see down below for comments and annotations in case of like on row 50,000 column IV you got a comment that you really don't want anybody to see go ahead and check for that and instead of trying to look throughout the thousands of rows and uh, dozens or hundreds of columns just have it remove it not even sweat about it to see if you caught it or not so it's going to check for comments annotations the document properties personal information any custom XML data headers and footers which you don't see unless you open up and you can see in the page layout view your headers and footer sections uh, many hidden rows and columns that you're not aware of or worksheets and visible content in any case go ahead and click inspect checks for all of it and then what you want to remove go ahead and click remove all you can see it's removing everything over here in my properties except you ought to know it does not remove whatever's in the hyperlink base I'm gonna to have to do that manually and then let me go ahead and close out here so I have to come in here delete that and everything's removed except for the comments which if I go back to the home tab you can see there's a couple of comments there so I can do it as often as needed file check for issues inspect and then it says okay be sure to save your work first and we'll say yes go ahead and save and then inspect and it found the comments or annotations or both remove all Go ahead and close. Let's go and click on the File tab. It'll dump us back to the uh, front stage here on the Home tab and no comments. So we're good to go. Go ahead and save this as another document or copy it and then shoot it off to your friend or whoever you want to forward it on to and not have to worry about your personal information. As you just saw, we were able to remove most of it, if not all of it. Of course, it's not going to pick up this information here. If you don't want these names here, of course, you'll have to go through it manually and decide, well, she's no longer an employee. I better update that. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for only $2 a month, you get online access to all my training. Or for downloads and DVDs, please visit me at dreamforce.us.